What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another King Jace video and today I wanted to make a short video just sitting down talking to the camera uh, just to share exactly what I carry inside of my camera bag. Now with the upcoming zine project that I'm working on it's really shaped what's been inside of my bag. Um, you know I have to find a camera that will fit the style of photography that I'm going for that'll make things easier if it has a mode that I'm able to use that makes you know life a lot easier I'm gonna choose a camera like that so some of the normal stuff that I shoot won't be inside of my camera bag right now. But without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's inside of this little thing right here. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, to start it off here, this is the bag that I put all of my stuff in. This is a normal backpack, it's a Gensport backpack. Um, I use this in high school, so uh, this has been my go-to camera bag for I think the last year or so. But the reason why I don't really use a dedicated camera bag, something that's designed for cameras, is because I usually don't carry too much gear. I try to keep it as minimalistic as possible, one camera and one lens at a time. Uh, so when I'm out shooting, you know what I mean, there's not a lot of stuff to get in the way of the photography that I do. Uh, I do a lot of street photography, so you know that's pretty much why I try to stay light, because I'm always on the move. So there's nothing special about the backpack. Like I said, there's a small pocket up at the front. There is a big pocket down back here. Um, there's also a laptop holder as well where I put my Mac. Um, and my Mac stays inside of my backpack. This is where it lives pretty much most of the time. Uh, when I'm out and about, just so if I need to edit or import new video uh, for a vlog, it's right there and readily available. So let's go ahead and start with the front pocket here. And I'll show you guys exactly what I carry. So this right here is my film notes book, which is basically where I record um, aperture and such like that, just certain information. Um, I usually only use this when I shoot my medium format camera, uh, my Yashica Mat. So this always stays in here regardless, but you know it's always nice to carry one of these, especially if you have any thoughts, any notes, any ideas, you can just jot them down. Um, and I highly recommend you guys keep one of these in your bag. Here we have some Zeiss lens wipes. Uh, essential, you guys need these in your bag. Uh, you can buy a pack of them from Target or Walmart, at least for like under five bucks and you get like a hundred wipes. Uh, these are amazing, so I highly recommend you guys use these um, if you don't already. And of course, when you shoot film, you have to have a couple of rolls in here. Um, I always carry one roll inside of my camera, two extra rolls of black and white, and one roll of color film just in case. Uh, so I don't know what this is, what is this? This is... Fuji Super HQ, so it's some expired Fuji Super HQ. And then I have right here some HP5, and this one's HP5 too, I'm pretty sure. They're both bulk loaded rolls. And the reason why I shoot a lot of black and white is because for the upcoming zine, it's gonna be a black and white only zine. So uh, I've been trying to challenge myself with my film lately, and black and white was the way to go for me in 2018. So 2018 is gonna be full of black and white images. As for the rest of the stuff in here, we have this little camera bag that uh, holds absolutely nothing. Usually when I take a point and shoot, uh, the only camera that can really fit in here is the Olympus XA. So when I take the XA out, this thing goes in there with me. And otherwise, the last thing inside of here is, uh, uh, it's a little hard drive just to store some more, uh, some more data from my, from my laptop. Damn, I can't talk today. So that's pretty much it for the front pocket here. Now as for the big pocket, I carry with me all the time my book. This holds a lot of information, whether it's you know different like ideas, different marketing stuff, and stuff like that. Cameras to sell. Uh, what do we have up front here? Video ideas, such like that. So if I ever need to write something out, or if I'm going to be writing a script or doing some opinionated stuff, it's going to go inside of here. And I keep this with me all the time, just along with my film notes book. And the last thing that I carry inside of me in this big pocket is the camera. Uh, this right here, you guys, is the Olympus OM2N, and it's the camera that I've been shooting for maybe the last two weeks, I could say. Um, the OM2N is a super simple camera. It has aperture priority, manual mode, and that's pretty much what I was looking for when I was figuring out what cameras to use for my upcoming zine. I wanted something that was simple that wouldn't get in the way of my photography, and this just did that. Um, it has awesome ergonomics just because the exposure compensation dial is right here. It's ready to go. Uh, aperture is at the front of the lens. I always carry the OM2N with the 50 millimeter uh, Zuiko 1.8. And yeah, it's proven to be a solid uh, little camera. As you guys can see, it's, it's smaller than most other SLRs. It fits pretty much in the size of my hand here. Um, but 
the OM2N is perfect exactly what I'm looking for uh, when I'm shooting my photos in. Now, of course, I'm going to need a backup to this guy. So the camera that I have sitting at home for backup, I don't usually bring with me when I have this one out, is this guy right here. This is the Nikon F3. Uh, before I shot the OM2N, this was my street photography choice of camera uh, for a number of reasons. One, I carry the 51.4 on top of it most of the time. Uh, the whole entire zine will be shot on the 50 millimeter. It has aperture priority just like the OM2N, which is, I love that which I absolutely love. Uh, I love shooting an aperture priority. Uh, also, it has a removable finder here. Uh, so you can focus through, waist level viewfinder, just like that. And it makes life super simple, super easy. You can be super discreet with it. Um, and it's an awesome feature to have inside of a camera. Uh, the problem that I have with the F3 is that it's pretty big and it's also pretty heavy. So, you know, extensive long hours out in the city just walking around with this thing around your neck it's going to take a toll on you uh, but that's why i opted for the om2n because it's a little bit smaller and a little bit light uh, lighter with the same features so you know if the om2n does go bad or if i just want to have a little switch up in between i'll take out the nikon f3 to shoot my street photography now I'm gonna veer off track here and I'm gonna talk about a camera that I bring in my camera bag uh, most of the time when I'm not shooting street photography. This is my camera of choice for when I shoot portraits. And it's this baby right here. This is the Minolta X700. This is my favorite camera of all time. And I know it's weird to say that over the Nikon F3, over some of the other cameras that I own, but the X700 has been here from the start. Um, I've been shooting with this thing for over a year and a half almost, and I'm still in love with it. Like the first time I've ever held it, I'm still in love with it. So I highly recommend you guys check this out. Uh, nowadays, I only shoot this thing for portrait work. Minolta lenses have really good color rendition, and so I rarely shoot black and white through my Minolta cameras. And um, it sucks lately that I've been shooting a lot of black and white because I can't really take this out and give it its uh, glory and time that it needs. But when I do shoot color, it's usually when I shoot portraits, I take this guy out and this is my weapon of choice for portrait work. So the X700 will always stay in my bag when I do portrait stuff or when I'm out in about taking pictures with color film. So now let's say that I'm out and I don't want to bring a heavy setup in SLR, something that's complicated. Um, so I want to opt for something smaller like a point and shoot. When it comes to that situation, I usually bring one of the two cameras. Uh, the first option here is the Olympus XA. This is one of my favorite point and shoot cameras. It's a range finder. Um, it's small, it has a 2.8 35mm lens. It's amazing, man. So uh, the quality images that you get out of this guy right here is incredible. Um, you get a ton of camera in such a small body. This is great for just slipping it into your bag. Like I said, I usually put it in this thing. And once it's in there, I throw it in here and bam, I'm good to go. I can just leave the house with my rolls of film and shoot away. Um, but yeah, the Olympus XA is one of those cameras that I really enjoy because of its size. The second camera that I bring here is the Olympus Infinity Stylus, or also known as the Olympus Mu One. Uh, of course, there is the Stylus Epic, the 2.8. This is the first generation of that, it's the 35 millimeter 3.5 but it performs absolutely amazing as well. Um, it's overshadowed by its, its older brother, or it's, I guess you could say bigger brother, uh, but this is my favorite point and shoot camera right here. Uh, I like this more than the XA because it has autofocus. Um, everything's automated for you. You literally load the film into the back, open this up and start shooting. It has flash, it has meter, um, and it's an amazing camera right here. So the Olympus Stylus 35 3.5 is the camera of choice. Uh, when I'm out and about and I don't want to take a big camera. Um, I've taken a lot of great shots with this thing over the time that I've been using it, so yeah. All right, you guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for the camera bag video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If there's any comments or questions on the gear that I'm using, feel free to leave it down in the comments down below. Um, also share what film slash lens film combo are you shooting this year? Uh, what are some of your dreams, aspirations, and goals for 2018? And also throughout the process of creating the zine, what I wanna do is document everything here on YouTube from the very start all the way to the very end. I usually upload videos every Monday night and I'm gonna keep that going, but along with those regular uploads, I'm gonna be throwing up random spontaneous videos uh, for the process of shooting the zine and just little updates here and there uh, throughout the entire process. So I highly recommend you guys, if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and hit that post notification as well because I will be posting a lot more spontaneous vlogs, um, videos, and updates on the process of creating my zine.
So nonetheless, you guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too boring or too long for you guys. Uh, regular uploads will be continuing on Monday. But I want to thank you guys again for all the time and all the support you guys have been showing me. It's amazing, you guys. And as always, Minolta Gang.